Figure shows a circuit that operates four lamps. Switch A can be connected to positions 1, 2, or 3. State what happens when switch A is connected to position 1, double I position 2, triple I position 3. Okay, let's start with position 1. If the switch is moved to position number 1. Now let's find what's in the closed circuit. Current goes out from the positive and moves as you see, passing through the two 5 ohms lamps until it reaches the negative. This will be our closed circuit if switch A is at position 1. The two 10 ohm lamps will be off because they do not close a circuit between the positive pole of the battery and the negative pole of the battery. The answer will be the two 5 ohms lamps only will switch on. Double I asks about what happened if switch A will be at position 2. If switch A is at position 2, unfortunately there will be no circuit closed between the positive pole and the negative pole of the battery. This is not a circuit. Current will not flow, even it will not go out of the positive. So simply the answer will be, all lamps will be switched off. Question number 3. What about position 3? Okay, let's move the switch from position 2 to position 3. And let's find out where will be the closed circuit. Current goes out from positive and will move as you see, switching on the two 10 ohm lamps before it closes the circuit with the negative pole of the battery. This is a complete circuit. So we can say that the two 10 ohm lamps only will switch on. Sadly, the mark scheme awards only one mark for the three questions. This means that if any one of the three questions is wrong, you will lose the single mark even if the other two are correct.